Alright guys, Cookie here with another Top 10 Mods of the Week in Star Wars Battlefront 2. This list is even more special because it actually covers mods from the last two weeks. Because of the latest patch, I wasn't able to do my regular weekly video, but now that all programs have been updated with the latest patch, we are good to go once again. And now, we have even more mods to choose from. Before we get started, I wanted to direct you guys to our online Teespring store where you can get some Swanee Plays games, merchandise, and support the channel. There are t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, all kinds of stuff for our fans, so please do us a favor and check it out. So without further ado, Let's get to the mods. Number 10 is Generator Room Tutorial Replace by the Blue Jedi. Thanks to the latest patch, everyone now has access to all the maps in arcade mode that aren't in Starfighter Assault. Well, except one. The Generator Room map for Heroes vs. Villains from Naboo. Luckily, the modders have our back and you can now access the map through the tutorial menu. Even though you can't battle on this map, it's great for map exploration as well as taking super epic cinematic pictures in places you never could before. In ninth place is Captain Panaka by Fiji Waters. When you think of Clone Wars DLC heroes, Captain Panaka is probably not your first choice. However, this mod does a great job of nailing the Captain Panaka look with very little to work with. Plus, he also goes perfectly with the Theed Palace, considering almost all of the scenes with him from The Phantom Menace are in that palace. He is equipped with Finn's powers, so it overall fits him very, very well. Numero Ocho this week is TIE Fighter Pilot by Sorox. Admittedly, the Imperial Officer does not look very intimidating. Well, that is no longer an issue. Just use this mod and the TIE Fighter Pilot will take their place. Equipped with mostly Iden Versio armor as well as a tubing system to resemble the iconic TIE Fighter Pilot from the films, it gives gives the Imperial Officer a whole new look and attitude, one of the many mods I strongly suggest DICE takes a look at. Pilot Luke Outfit by Lame Streamer comes in at number 7. Considering Luke spends a good portion of episodes 4 and 5 wearing this outfit, it makes perfect sense that this outfit be added to the game. And even though that may happen sometime in the future, thanks to this mod, we can have it right now. It's an iconic outfit that is done to full justice here, as Luke is also equipped with his original blue lightsaber. Coming in hot at number 6 is Razor Squadron Clone Troopers by Searle. Clone armor doesn't get much fiercer than this, perfectly imitating the Razor Squadron from Star Wars canon. This armor gives the clones a menacing razor sharp teeth and yellow eyes painted on to regular clone armor. The armor shows off the uniqueness of the squadron and makes a great addition to unique customization options for clone troopers. What a great way to stand out on the battlefield. The fifth spot this week goes to Zando First Order Overhaul by Zando Bob and Spiff. You guys may have heard in the past that I thought the First Order should have had a more different look from the Empire than they did, and thanks to this mod, they can. This mod equips everything in the First Order army with red and black armor, including the officer and First Order villains Kylo Ren and Captain Phasma. It's a very complete mod that leaves no stone unturned. All variants of First Order match the color scheme here. The First Order just got that much cooler. In at number 4 is the 456th Dimentium Squad by Searle. Everything about this mod just screams awesome. The armor is so unique with orange and black tones adorning most of the back of the armor, while scratches across the helmet indicate the fierceness and hardships that come with it. Not to mention the name Dimentium Squad is also pretty badass. This is one of the best clone armor mods I have seen because it's so different from regular armor while not seeming chaotic or out of control. Getting the bronze medal in third place is Admiral Akbar by Fruit by the Fett. This is the second time an Akbar mod has made a top 10 mods list, but this time it's even better. This Akbar looks even more accurate than the first, with the Admiral's uniform looking more textured and realistic. Akbar also now comes with a custom portrait, unique abilities, and a unique gun. Also the fact that Akbar now has a disabler ability so he can have, you know, a trap? That's a good touch. In second place this week is Sunny Endor by Quinn Knight. I I mean Cosmic Dreams. Sorry, Quinn, you actually didn't find this on your own. Cosmic Dreams did. This is that modder's latest data file find, an alternative to the Night Endor map that we've all played so far. This mod gives us a look at an unreleased version that shows us an Endor we're all much more used to, and at least in my case, kinda miss. The question is whether or not they will release this map in the future, or if this mod will be the only way to access it. Only time will tell. In the meantime, enjoy the map because it really does feel like you're getting a whole new experience on Endor than you did before. Okay guys, here's some other great mods that didn't quite make the list.
All right, number one this week, it's Battlefront 3 Clone Wars Overhaul by Flores VD Waitering and Official Mango. Okay, so many Battlefront fans will remember how Battlefront 3 was supposed to come out about 10 years ago, but never did. The canceled game left some of those files behind, and thanks to the modders, those pieces have been put together and are now available in EA's Battlefront 2. There are Tri-Fighters, Jedi Interceptors, New Droids, 501st Clone Design, two custom heroes, X1 and X2, as well as custom star cards. A huge amount of detail went into this mod, and it shows. For the work alone, this mod deserves first, but most of all, this mod shows us a little bit of the game we never got. So for that... It has earned the number one spot. So what did you guys think? Good list or did I fail miserably? If you liked it, comment DLC not confirmed and also comment what mods you like. Also links to all these mods are in the description so check them out. If you don't know how to install mods, check out the link in the description for our video on how to install mods just made for that kind of situation. Also check out our Teespring store like I mentioned earlier. Subscribe and smash the like button and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Will you join me? Accept your fate. I grow impatient.